Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time? Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe One of the most legendary garage events has to be Garage Nation. We're youngers as well and it's like we're looking up, we're thinking Garage Nation is like proper gig. Got a phone call like, yeah, it's got number one. Next thing you know, so solid blew up. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica and welcome to the fan carpet. Well, it was my, my so, so what happened was around sort of 95, I was doing One Nation, these big dance music events, and um, I, I bumped into uh, Jason Kay at a black and white event and he said to me, he said, Terry, he said, you should be doing an event um, a, a celebrating Garage. And I said, I don't really know Garage, I'm more drum and bass. And he went, look, I'll, I'll get the DJs, I know the music, you know, let's, let's do it together. So I said, well, I've got a good name. He said, what? I said, Garage Nation. So we started Garage Nation off and obviously this documentary really celebrates Garage Nation, celebrates 25 years of the UK Garage scene when it was big. Um, and obviously it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So um, obviously it's changed a lot because it's now more about festivals and smaller club nights but, and, it's, and it's more about going around the world. So there's stuff in Amsterdam, there's stuff in France, there's stuff in Ibiza, so um, Ionapa. So it's, it's, it's a lot more sort of global than it was when we first started. When we first started, it was just a London thing. Well, just, I mean, I produced and directed this with um, Richard Turnup um, and um, Oh, it's a big celebration of the scene and um, we've got the who's of the UK Gary scene in, 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 in the movie, you know, talking about it. So there's obviously a lot of good stuff. There's obviously a little bit about the dark stuff and the sort of um, serious stuff in it. Um, but I think there's a, it's an entertaining documentary and it's, and it's fun, you know. So that's, that's, yeah, it's already won an award as well. It won Best Film at the Marlboro Film Festival. And we just finished a film called Take Two Days of Blood, which is another foot soldier, which rises of the Foot Soldier 6. And um, we've got um, two other films. We're doing Headhunters and we're doing Tales from the Trap in the New Year. So, yeah, we've got a busy, I mean, we're, we're like really busy at the moment. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. And was accused of murder. And I got stabbed in my neck and I didn't even know I got hit with a gloss. Don't stop. Don't stop. That is made in the UK. Yeah, that's made in the garage, as they say. <laughs> I'm here on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca, with the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels. It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. 
Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more. 